today we're going to be programming the Forest Shuttle HD and Shuttle Echo motors. You're going to grab your motor first. You're going to want to plug it into the bottom of the track there. And then once that's plugged in, you'll have to spin the motor for it to lock into place. Once you hear it locked in, you'll push the lever down to completely lock the track in. So once we do this, we can grab our power supply now and we'll plug that into the bottom of our motor there. And when you do that, you'll see a little light on for about a second or two and it should go out. Once that's done, we'll go and grab our Forest Diamond remote. And then we'll just choose our channel. So I'm just going to be on channel one to begin. So once you pick your channel, we'll now go to the master carrier that's in the track and you'll have to give it a little tug towards the closed position. It'll then carry by itself and meet all the way at the end. And once it does that, you'll go back to that uh, master carrier. And you'll give it a tug back to the closed position and it'll carry all the way back by itself. So once it reaches the end, there'll be a light on for about 10 seconds. Um, you can move your stack if you please during this time. If not, you'll just let that time out. And once that time's out, it'll set. So now we can begin programming with our remote. Again, we'll just make sure we're on channel one. Then we'll go to the black programming button. And you're gonna wanna hit that button three times. It's gonna go from a green light to a yellow light, then back to a green light. After that, you're gonna release, press again and hold till you see a flashing light. Once you see that flashing light, you'll go to your remote, hit the open button. So I'm just gonna show you how it's done. So you're gonna do one click, two clicks, three clicks, hold till you see a flashing light, and you'll hit the open button. And now we are programmed. So we just hit the close button to test it. Okay, perfect, it closes. Now we're just gonna test it, see if it opens all the way. And now we have full control, and that is, again, how you program your Shuttle HD and Shuttle Echo motors.